Hi, welcome to this week's Casting the Net. Casting the Net is the weekly devotionals for the everyday Christian, powered by Ram Speaks in partnership with the Fishers of Men generation of Radiant Life City Church. It has been a while since we released our latest episode, and in this episode, especially now that we commemorate the passion, the death, and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, it is fitting for us to think and to know why Christ came into this world and sacrificed his life for us. Many of us would think that if Christ truly is the Son of God, there has to be no reason for him to die on the cross. But the scriptures would say otherwise. And there are tons of verses that anyone could pick up to justify Christ's death on the cross, but we chose something from the Gospel of John. So if you have your Bibles with you, let's check John, the Gospel of John chapter 3, verse 14 to 15. It says here, Just as Moses lifted up the snake in the desert, so the Son of Man must be lifted up, that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. You might be curious as to how Moses got connected into the fabric of Christ's salvation for all mankind. Aside from the fact that he was part of the transfiguration in the Gospel of Luke, Moses did something when he was still alive, when he was still with the people of Israel, that completely intertwines and interconnects with how Christ brought salvation to mankind. You see, the verse says, just as Moses lifted up the snake in the desert. For those of us who might be curious, the snake, known as Nehustan, was a central figure, one of the central figures in the faith of the early Jews, the early Israelites. There was this one instance that the Israelites bitterly complained to the Lord as to why they were brought there, why were they uh, sent in the desert to suffer. And most of these people, who were former slaves of Egypt, would tend to complain. And it's not just the first time, nor was it the last. Every single time they complained to God and to Moses and questioned Moses' credibility and questioned even God. And so God sent them snakes, venomous ones, to bite them and strike them dead. And when this happened, the leaders of the tribes of Israel, terrified, came to Moses and said, We have sinned against the Lord. Save us. And so Moses did, as he would always do, he prayed to the Lord. The Lord God instructed him to make a bronze snake and put it in a pole so that anyone who got bitten by snakes would simply look at the bronze snake on the pole and would live. And so several thousands of Israelites survived because they just stared at the snake in the pole. They came to know that as the Hustan and eventually it became one of the central figures of the Israelite tradition. Now, Christ himself also was struck in a pole or in the case of the Romans, the crucifixion. He was crucified on a cross, on a wooden pole, that everyone might be saved. And we're not talking about those who have been bitten by snakes here only, but people who were bit up with despair. The the context of the Israelites with the context of modern day people are pretty much the same. We tend to complain to God for our problems, 
we tend to blame him sometimes for things that are mishaps on our end and eventually problems, disasters came and death was inevitable but if turned to Jesus the way the Israelites turned to the bronze snake if we turned ourselves to Jesus if we turned our heads and look at Jesus crucified for our sins then we will be saved the same way that the Israelites are saved because they stared they looked on the bronze snake that was hanging on a pole Christ's death can be justified by a lot of verses in the, pa- in the passages of the Bible but what makes it more striking is how we in the modern day society would think of it some of us would think that God is not with us or God doesn't care about our problems anymore the fact of the matter is God cares for you that's why he sent Christ that's why he sent Jesus that's why Jesus bore the sacrifices on the cross it was a heavy burden but he did it anyway for all of us to be saved and so every time we think that our faith is diminishing that our morale as Christians are dwindling let's always turn our heads back to Christ let's always look up to Christ the same way as we always do for he will bring us salvation come judgment day and wherever you may be please join me in prayer let's bow down our heads and pray with me our heavenly father we thank you lord for bringing salvation into our lives through Christ father we know that we have sinned against you multiple times that at times we tend to complain at times we tend to think of things that would steer us away from you but you never fail to fulfill your promises you never fail to lead us back to the right track Lord, thank you for reminding us that as the snake made of bronze struck on the pole saved thousands of Israelites from sure death, we can always lean on and turn to Christ whenever we feel down. For we know that when we turn our heads to Christ, salvation is attainable that instead of death eternal we will gain life eternal sustain our faiths lord as we face challenges of the day as we face the challenges of our everyday lives the challenges of the pandemic and the challenges of a modern world remind us always our heads turn to Christ at all times. In all these we ask, in the name of Jesus, Amen and Amen. would like to thank everyone for joining our Casting the Net series. We are extremely happy that despite the challenges of day-to-day life, we still remain to produce content through Casting the Net and through the Manifesto and through all our platforms available. And we'd like to continue to thank you for your support, for listening, for your prayers. Please pray for us. Pray for me. Pray for our brethren who might be suffering. Pray for our missionaries, wherever they may be. And also pray. Pray for the world that they may be able to know the greatest story of salvation ever told in the life of Christ Jesus. I'll be seeing you next week, though. And it is not yet goodbye. I will be seeing you next week, and I hope that by next week, we'd still be together 
and we'll be joining each other for another edition of Casting the Net. Thank you so much for the privilege of your time. And always remember that you are loved by God.